Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld Beta 18. So first of all, just a quick order of business, uh, and hopefully I mentioned this in my episode I published yesterday of Dwarf Fortress, but I think I am going to try for the first time live streaming either today or tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I'll have some kind of notification about that on my channel um, and on my uh, Twitter feed also, not that any of you i think i have like three subscribers on my twitter feed just because i don't pay any attention to it but i'm gonna be trying that i think today or tomorrow in any case that's my plan i've never done it before just kind of want to try it it was a goal of mine to do um this year not this like calendar year but this year of my channel's anniversary year so um yeah so look forward to that i don't know exactly what i'm gonna be live streaming if i am i was thinking maybe fallout 4 it's a little different from what i usually do but i thought the survival mode of fallout 4 might be fun to do and get feedback on since i've never played it before but if you have other ideas for games let me know uh and even if that ends up not happening now let me know what games you'd like to see that we do in the future uh looks like we're getting our second electric stove here i also noticed off camera i had everything paused i was just kind of looking through people and uh let's pause it a second here because i noticed that Busto is very close to being able to make medicine. You need six medicine skill and three crafting skill, and he has double passion for crafting. And I think all we really need to do is have Busto stop hauling for a second and prioritize crafting first. He should get his crafting up, and then we can make medicine. And that's huge. Um, that will put a, you know, a little damper on our hauling, but we still have... Um, Ruiz doing hauling after plant cutting and wardening. So there should still be that. In fact, look at this. Rinnick is growing right now. Um, and this is the first time in a long time we've seen anyone grow trees here, like plant trees there. That means we're actually caught up in our growing jobs, which hasn't happened in a very long time. So that's just another sign that things are kind of getting back on track here. And it's pretty awesome. Pretty darned awesome. Let's let's get this bed made. Doug, did, are you asleep yet? Uh, instead of the marble tile, although that would be nice, make that double bed, please. Really still want to get a power claw for you. And as soon as we get a second medicine, because I think you need two to do a surgery, we will try to install um, a bionic eye in Meyer and a prosthetic leg in um, Busto, I think. Doug could use one, too. A lot. I think a few people have peg legs. Actually. Let's see. Um, Doug has one. Otis has one. Ruiz has one. Actually, Ruiz, aren't you one of our main haulers? Didn't we just... Yeah. I should probably give it to Ruiz, actually. Now, the other thing is Busto is a jogger. And I was thinking he could move even, or she actually, I think who's this female, could move even faster. But I guess Ruiz is more of our main hauler. So I should probably give it to Ruiz. In fact, let's try to not forget that. Um, uh, wait, which leg is it? The left leg. S prosthetic leg, left leg. Suspend for now. And I don't think anyone else has... Oh, I, I was giving it to Busto, but forget that. Busto has a peg leg, but being a jogger, Busto's actually a decent speed, even with the peg leg. And Busto's not going to be our main hauler. It's Ruiz, so there you go. Because Busto is too important, honestly. His skills are, or her skills, her skills are too good uh, to just be doing hauling. Um, especially with the medicine, the crafting. Uh, I mean, the crafting's not that great, but you're going to be the only one that can make medicine. We can get your construction up. You can mine a little bit. Ooh, we should probably... That's something they added in beta 18. Ooh, this is pretty nice, actually. And not too far away from us. Um, that when not just meteors, but cargo pods fall, it makes a lot of damage. And I that's not something that needs to happen. Is that something... Do we need to set in our options that it auto-pauses? Pause an urgent letter. We are doing that. Did that count? Did it auto-pause? And I just um, instinctively hit spacebar? Probably. 
Um, cause we want to make sure that if cargo pods are falling and anybody is under them, we want to run out from under them. You don't get a lot of warning. Uh, and the same with meteors. Although I don't think we've had a meteor fall in this game. Yet. I'm sure we will. Um, okay. So, that bed is not done. Doug is working on it, though. And Doug can only carry so much because he is missing a hand. Okay, good. Um, and you're the only one up, huh? Burning the midnight oil. Um, ugh. Are you tired? Just go to bed, Doug, at this point. Just, just eat and go to bed. Maybe I'll Sophia finish it in the morning. But Doug's gotta be tired. Alright. Uh, so yeah, people are up now. Ooh! <gasps> really? The surgery failure chance for the next surgery performed by her will be ten times smaller. Inspiration ends after eight days or when the surgery is performed. I think that means that we could do it with herbal meds. Um, let's try it. Well, what's Busto's? But yeah, Busto has decent medical skill. I think I will wait for the bionic eye because that's a little more important. But let's get the leg on Ruiz. Let's do it. We're going to do it with herbal meds because we have this inspiration and we only have... I mean, I'll let you have regular meds because we have one of those. And maybe that'll be fine. We'll unsuspend this. Make sure the leg is unforbidden. It is. And let's do it. Um, where is Ruiz? Where does Ruiz sleep? Ruiz is up and awake, isn't she? Uh, you're feeding a meal to Sass. I, that's important. We'll let you finish that. In fact, are you going to talk to Sass? No. You're resting. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's what we want. And then... Da-da-da-da-da. Boost it. Operate. All right. Let's see how this goes. Very nice. Uh, yeah, this is something we definitely can take advantage of. This is very cool. And does your... Now, you had um, eight medicine, right? Yeah. Is that going to go up? 4499. 4499. 8499. That was um, a lot more experience, but you didn't quite go up a level. But uh, that was successful. You were no longer inspired um, because you had a successful surgery. But more importantly, we have a prosthetic leg on Ruiz, our main hauler. That's going to be pretty huge. Um that's great. I know you're going to feed. Great. And then you're, you were already crafting blocks, which means your crafting was going up. And it won't be too long before you can make medicine, and that's going to be huge for us. Really huge. Oh, we got a bed made. It is only a good bed, but that's that's fine. Um, we might as well get some um, pots in here. Uh, we're not going to be able to floor it for a little bit. Let's wait till we get all the carpeting done in the other rooms, and then we'll do it. There we go. And um, we'll get a light in here, too. Oh, and we need um, power. We need power over here. Let's get some power going up here. I think we should do that for redundancy. That'll be good. Cool. Yeah, these are all granite walls, and we do still have granite, and we are still making blocks. In fact, we still have marble. A decent amount of marble. We could do some more marble floor jobs, even. Ooh! Our first psychoid. Ooh, and we're actually making a uh, psychoid pico, which is something I have not seen in this game. There it is! What do you do? A fragrant tea which can be drank. Drank? Drunk? Drinked? To induce a weak euphoric effect. A very easy to produce, but be wary of addiction. Uh, yeah, so it is addictive. Um, it gives. It basically just gives joy. Reduces pain. Reduces tiredness. 
increases rest, I think. I'm a little not 100% sure. Sells for 14. Sells for 14 compared with a smoke leaf joint, which sells for 11. So it it is worth more. Do they they don't need refrigeration? Um. So let's store it somewhere. Ooh, we could just store it here, I guess. Why not? Um, do we have it here? Manufactured. Droogs. We're not storing Ambrosia there. Psychoid Pico. Yeah, we'll just put that in there too. I don't know why not, right? Why wouldn't we? Because uh, then it'll be in an orbital trade beacon. We could put it in here because there are orbital trade beacons in a freezer, but um, I don't think we need to. I think there's room here. I don't know how, how well they stack. I mean, it would be closer over here. I guess. You know what? Let's put it in here. Psychoid Pico, we'll take it out of here. Because that is a little closer. Okay, that's fine. And, all right, I'm going to unpause it. No one should... Yeah, everyone's on a no drugs policy. But even our social drugs... Um, I don't think we want... Um, that's for addictions. I, don't, I think for joy, we still don't want... Oh, weird. Pico is not... Succoid Pico is not an option for Joy. Huh. It's not listed on drugs at all. Is that a bug? Does that mean people are just going to drink this? A tea. It's not part of a drug policy, so are people just going to eat it? Drink it. I could tell people specifically to drink it. We'll see what happens. I mean, if people drink it a little bit, it won't be the end of the world. And we'll know. Uh, we'll know what the game does with that. It's a lovely 69 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit in Grem de Velvia. We have, uh, we're still sowing more trees. Wow, we have three people sowing trees. That's awesome. So when, when all this growing is done, I think Meyer is going to start mining again. And that's pretty exciting. Um, a party! Rick is throwing a party. Um, is this... Do we have a party spot? The party spot should be in here. We should... Uh, I mean, I think it's too late for this party, but that's something that we should probably set. Uh, Misk, probably, right? Yeah. We'll do a marriage spot in here. Um, just like there. We'll do a party spot in here. Also... Because we're going to have, like, a pool table and all kinds of things in here when we have the resources to do that and the manpower. But I think right now it's just in the dining room, which is a fine place. That's a lovely dining room. Beautiful. It's a beautiful dining room. Cool. That'll get everyone in a good mood, which will not hurt. Uh, Hunter lacks range weapon. Rinnick. Right. Um, I have you set as a hunter? Let's just take you off of hunting. Yeah, and that'll be fine. Great. No, look at that. No pop-ups. No pop-ups at all. A lot of kibble here. A lot of hay. We have all that kibble because we had all that insect meat. Um, we don't have any food. Our meals, we only have 13 meals, and we don't have a lot of stuff to harvest. I think we need more meat. We need to do some hunting, like now. Because we don't want people eating kibble, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Oh, we have this meat. We need to haul this in. Yeah, we need to haul that in. I guess after the party. Spoils in one day. <sighs> you know what? Not everyone needs a party. Who's, um, who's happy? Yeah, Rinnick, you're happy. All the cougar meat. Who else is happy? Who's just pretty happy? Ooh, Alvarado, you're super happy. Please haul the meat. Uh, Bautista's pretty happy. You don't haul, though. Everyone, honestly, everyone's pretty darn happy. For the most part. We'll get some other people on it soon. Oh, Ruiz can walk now. Great. Oh, right. Ruiz can walk. Uh, Ruiz, can you not attend the party? Go attend the party. 
Oh, you are. Okay, good. Because you, uh, you could use some happiness, I think. All right, so we're hauling in some meat, and that'll help. Um, Chio, let's get you hauling too. You're pretty, uh, you're pretty happy. All right, party's over anyway. Doug is viewing art. Um, okay, what jobs? Yeah, let's work on that. Let's finish that chess table. It's been too long coming. Um, Busto should be... Oh, I think I just said Busto Hall, right? Yeah. Uh, Rennick, don't, don't do that. Hall. Hall Cougar Meat, please. Busto. No. Cougar Meat. Please. Uh, Alvarado. We don't need more kibble right now. Oh, cool. Hold on. Um... Let's get Vitals Monitor next. Verado. No. Oh, yeah. I th there. Okay. That should be, I hopefully, all the meat. Um, yeah, we'll see. You're still coming, right? Yeah. Busto's coming, slowly. Okay. And that should be all of it. Why wasn't that all of it? Hold on. Reserve, no, haul it. And then haul that. Come on, you can get all of it. You can do it. Good. Okay, I like it. Great, that'll help. That's a lot of meat and we can make meals out of that. But we still, I think, need to do some hunting. Um, our food is a little low. A little low. We might want to do another growing zone here. Um, although, hold on. Just noticed. Can't can't have it there. Okay. If we did that, yeah, I think we just need a little more food. We're growing some corn here. Finally, we have some potatoes. We have a couple of potatoes. We have a couple of rice. Um, you know, we only have one berry. Do I do berries or corn? Berries are a little safer. Let's do berries. Corn would be nice, I guess, but I think it's fine. I could do like half and half. At some point, maybe I'll, I won't be doing so much psychoid. But we'll see. Psychoid Pico. One. One. Chio's making it now. Yeah, we have quite a few crafters now, including Busto. Where is Busto? You're viewing art. Okay, we're making meals. Very good. Um, and we can we have two stoves now, so we should take advantage of that. Let's um, let's see. So simple meals fifty, surviving meals twenty, fine meals forever. Simple fifty. All right. Simple do until you have fifty. I don't remember what we set the cooking skill at. Hold on, let me let me take a look at this. Um, this was unpause at 40, cooking skill 4. Cool. And then um, this one, the survival meals, cooking skill 10, and there is no pause when satisfied. Add bill, pack of survival meal, do until you have... Twenty. There we go. And then fine meals. And that is loud cooking skill eight. Do forever. Come on. Okay. Cool. Great. Back to how we were. Now we can have two cooks at the same time. Oh, I like this stack of uh, Psychoid Pico. It looks like a, just a bunch of, like, uh, coffee cups. <laughs> cool. And we can uh, start selling that. Did we harvest? Oh, yeah, we did harvest our Ambrosia. In fact, I think I just saw it in the fridge. 
Yeah. Can we forbid that? I think we probably already started eating it. This is all gold over here. Gold and ambrosia look very much alike, don't they? Very much. It looks like a rotated version of it. Okay. Yeah. Chewy's cooking on this one. Alvarado's cooking on this one. This is good. Our food stores should go up pretty quickly. Oh, but right. Um, we need more hunting. Uh, we have all these guys. I think... So I'm just going to set to hunt. Now, um, hunting... Chio is hunting first and foremost. Otis will hunt after cleaning and growing and plant cutting. I think that's okay. A local alpaca went mad. First of all, let's tame this one. Second of all, we better kill this one. And um, who was our main hunter? Chio, I think. What? Oh, whoops. This is not... I'm an idiot. Uh, this is our other... No one's over here. This is our old colony. Not our old colony. You know what I mean. This is our outpost. So, no worries there. Blight? I'm, I'm surprised the Blight hasn't taken these strawberries yet. It's kind of impressive. Okay. So that was... That was not a big deal. Sophia, what are you working on? Dining chair? Yeah, good for you. And I would love to finish these bedrooms. That would be great. We do have a spare bedroom at this point. And we should probably give that... Someone's jealous, aren't they? Who is our jealous person? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, character, no, needs. Uh, character, I think. Jealous. Sophia. So you know what, Busto, I'm gonna say this is your room. No, I'm just gonna say that this is Sophia's room. For the time being. Sorry to wake you up. Okay. Um, you know, we had cloth. I think the cloth... No, those are deer hide. Okay, I don't think we're using cloth to make these things. Alpha beavers. Okay. This is the second time we've had alpha... Oh, wait. Oh, great. This is also the other... Great. I don't have to worry about it. And I won't. It would have made some good meat. Um, so yeah, we should be hunting deer pretty soon. Food stores are going up. We have a bit of meat left. And, uh, plus we also still have insect jelly that we can eat. Bunch of kibble. Uh, I just realized this stockpile is full. Uh, this is a, um, important one. Let's say this one will also have a... It's preferred, which is less than important. Yeah, so this one we can also put in whatever leftover hay and kibble. And I think the animals are allowed there. I think so. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, where are the zones? Zones. Animal area. Not quite. Okie doke. Uh, we still have some beer here fermenting. 30, so uh, six days for our first batch of beer. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, thing, uh, Cold Snap or Yorkshire Terriers join. Uh, cold Snap or uh, Heat Wave could affect these because we have no... Actually, no, we do have a heater. We do have a heater. So Cold Snap might not be the worst. But if it gets too hot, that could be a problem. We don't have air conditioning in here. I guess we could try to quickly build one, but it could ruin the beer. A group of... This is the other... This is the other biome? And that is a lot. A lot of Yorkshire Terriers. Wow. Um, curious. Can... Dogs travel on their own. If I go to the world and I say, hey. Oh, this colony was never named even. Um, can I name it? Yeah, uh, whatever. It's better off not named. Form caravan. All the terriers. 
because we can sell these guys. Uh, all the terriers, you can't carry anything, but um, you must assign at least one non-down colonist. Okay, so we would have to send someone here to get the dogs. <laughs> I don't think the only reason it would be worth it is if we could sell them. But I think we could just leave them here. I don't know how worth it it would be. I mean, it said they sell for like 200, although they probably sell for like half that. I think somewhere it said market value was 200. Yeah, yeah. But still, that would be like 800. We could have someone come back here, tame a muffalo, and bring the dogs. It's an idea. We'll let the dogs just run around here for the time being, and but uh, we'll we'll consider it going forward. It's certainly not pressing. Okay. Poor Pansy. R.I.P. Pansy. R.I.P. Uh, we still have some power conduits here. We still have a pretty big, uh, pretty bad steel problem and that we don't have any. Uh, and we do have a little bit of steel to be mined out. Hopefully, all the almost these trees are almost all planted and then Meyer should be mining. We could also take Bautista off research for a little bit, but I think we're okay. I like that we're getting research done very quickly. Once we get to ship, once there's nothing left but shipbuilding stuff, we'll, we'll stop. Okay, let's hurry up. Chio's up. You got your meal. Oh, great. Now you're hunting. Wonderful. Wonderful. Chio, do you have a peg leg or anything? Whoops. Come here. No. So you can run. That's important. Nice. Good job. Oh, and this one's downed. Oh, no. What? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that, yeah, so even if we had, like, tried to get here in time, whatever, these, these dogs are all going to die. Fortunately, they're not bonded to anyone. It's just kind of a ridiculous situation. It, if I could easily and quickly get them back, I might, just so I can sell them, maybe cook them up, <laughs> but um, probably sell them, I don't know. I'm just going to... They're all going to be eaten by wargs and bears and stuff, and that's just what's going to happen. Uh, it's a little sad, but it's not the worst. Sass is fully healed. That's good. It would be nice to uh, make this room a little nicer. Um, we have some marble now, although... Hmm. We all wait for these guys to finish here. We do have marble. Um... It would be nice to floor these. What, what do we need for sterile tile steel? And, oh, we need steel. Oh, yeah, all the warg stuff, all the... I'm going to keep being concerned by this and then being like, oh, right, don't need to worry about it. It would be nice to have a nicer prison. We could put a statue in here, I guess. That would make things better. We don't have any spare statues right now. That, that little noise, that's, that's new. That's kind of fun. What? Who got taken away from this meat? Oh, it was butchered, and then... You know what? If you're butchering, I think we better put the meat. The thing is, I take the best stockpile, but I hope that's just the meat and not the uh, hide. Busto, can you um, just quickly move that in? Thank you. Oh, speaking of Busto... Nope, not quite. Crafting's not quite there. Does it go up when you do that? 1351. No, it didn't. That did not... Alright, Busto, you're not allowed... No, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Um, make stone blocks. Your your crafting doesn't go up with this. Huh. Let's up... Uh, let's make smoke leaf first for the time being. I feel like that does increase crafting, but I could be wrong. Where'd you go? Okay, you're getting chunks. Uh, that's okay. Hey, we got um, some more bedrooms finished. Uh, 
Um. Then we can do this. That's good. Alright, some nice bedrooms. Very nice. And I guess we will build copies of these. Get you here. And here. And here. And here. And lights. Um, sure. Uh oh, Manhunter Pack, is it here? <laughs> Man, now a pack of man-hunting Yorkshire Terriers. And it is the other colony. So we have regular Terriers, Yorkshire Terriers, and then man-hunting Yorkshire Terriers. And that's great. That's just great. <laughs> there are a lot of... that. There, Yorkshire Terriers ran rampantly wild over there. Pretty crazy. This is still not roofed over here, right? Yeah, unroofed too. Good, good. Because of the temperature. It is warm in there. We may want to block that off at this point. We have um, we have limestone. Yeah, let's use limestone. Structure. Uh-oh. That's probably here. I want this to be, you know what, let's make it granite. Let's make it all granite here. Just to match uh, what this wall is going to be. Okay. This is probably here. Oh, no, it's not. We are lucky again. Oh my gosh. Absurd. Where's the other, Your wasn't there another one? <laughs> Isn't there another Yorkshire Terrier around here? Uh, that was Manhunter. Did only one Manhunting Yorkshire Terrier show up? I thought it was two. I wonder if the other Yorkshire Terriers will attack it. We'll have to check on that. Um, all right, Busto, how's your skill now? I feel like it's not getting better. Why isn't it getting better? Crafting two. That should help it. Hopefully you'll... I feel like your crafting should jump from two to three pretty quickly. Hmm. Going to get a chunk. Yeah, I guess we don't have a lot of chunks nearby anymore. Uh, I guess we could put, like, another triple door going out this way. We may want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm fine doing that, actually. Um, so that would be structure. One door. Yeah, I guess so. And then another granite wall right there. What do we make these out of marble? Oh, but these down here out of granite. Okay. Fire. Oh, right. <laughs> Ooh, who got a work frenzy? Alvarado. Okay. Um, and what do we have you do? Cook. Right. Great. You'll make meals quickly. And you can construct. And we might run out of food for you to cook. We have 20 meals right now. It would be great to get some more. We are still hunting. We're definitely still hunting. What happened to that deer that was down? Did we get it? Hopefully we got it. I think we're okay. Where are we putting hide? I think just in here, right? Yeah. Rick. Alright, let's hurry up. Yeah, that's just gonna burn out here. Oh. Yep, he's gonna kill all the... All the dogs, if he can. Let's see if he can get all of them. Oh, the dogs just run away. They don't even fight back. 
The manhunting ones did, but these are running away. <laughs> that noise is so sad. So sad. Come on, fight back. Bite him. Bite him. Bite him, Albina. Sad. So sad. All right, hurry up. Just do it. Just... Oh, gosh. It's terrible. Down. Poor dogs. Poor puppies. Um, okay. Well, a lot happened this episode, but none of it happened on this colony. It all happened on their abandoned outpost. Um, all right, Busto is prioritizing the block cutting, which I think is good. And let's just... Let's just verify before we finish this episode that we are getting crafting skill from this. Who's just starving? Hurry up, Pusto. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to be a jogger. I know you have a peg leg, but come on. Oh, there we go. Why did... Everything was really... Did everything just slow down? Was it like an FPS thing? Oh, it, it was because it wasn't actually fast. I think it was because the dogs were being fought. And I thought I had hit three to make it go fast, but I think it was slowed down because there was fighting, even though I didn't. it didn't look like there was. Okay, um, crafting. 1351. Come on, Busto. What the heck? What the heck? Why? All right, well, you got to eat, man. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Eat there. And then go to sleep or something. All right, I don't know why Busto didn't get any crafting from the block or the Pico. Is that... I hope that's not a bug. Because that is not cool. That is not cool at all. Those things should count as crafting. I think. Unless maybe they changed it and now they count as construction or something. But I don't think so because, I mean, it's it's the crafting job. Well, if you know, you'll have to tell me. Oh, my gosh. Um, maybe this guy will light himself on fire. Anyway, that's going to be the episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please leave comments. And uh, look out for that live stream. Hopefully it will happen today or tomorrow. Uh, and the reason is I'm, I'm taking vacation days. I have some vacation days to take. Uh, anyway, I really enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.